Hi everyone, Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So today I thought I'd just do a quick post review on a lot of the cards that I've been making. As I say, um, I have had a lot of time to diamond paint recently and uh, these are just some of the ones that I've done. Some of them I've still got the uh, drills in the packets with them um, so I'll sort some of those out as we go along as well. But I'll go through, as you can see, I have done quite a few. Um, I do like my craft buddy cards. Um, I have tried lots of different companies and I still just come back to craft buddy crystal art cards. Uh, they are how I started my diamond painting journey um, and they are something that I do find they are the best quality. Okay, so this is Panda. Um, they're all, I think, is it 18 centimetres by 18 centimetres? Yeah, 18 centimetres, which is 7 inch by 7 inch, which is a good size card. They're all blank inside, so you can either write inside and put an insert in. Uh, or stamp or put a sticker or whatever you want to do in there and um, I quite often cut off the front of the card um, and mount them onto an 8 inch by 8 inch card and it just makes it a bit bigger card um, and then I can add sentiments and things around the edges as well um, these you can actually put as craft but I haven't got them in stock as I'm making this video in uh, May but uh, they do do little frames that these fit in as well and they look really really sweet um, as a nice little picture and I know I made a one for my uh, sister for her birthday and uh, she is going to frame it so you know the nice keepsakes as well as a card so that's your two little pandas and uh, you can see that just baby panda there giving mummy a big hug which I think is really really sweet um, and then the leaves the bamboo leaves at the bottom are all in crystals in gems so you've got your resin drills just to give your panda is it like fairy quality and then you, your leaves just make the card pop and stand out a bit more 3d and again as with craft buddy they always give you some really good shading there's actually three different colors going across there just to give you that shading actually there's four there's a dark grey then a lighter grey then a really pale grey coming onto your white and it just really gives you that dimension and that depth in the card so yeah I love that one um, the trouble is these are so nice I don't like giving them away and um, they tend to be all in my portfolio at the moment <laughs> Okay, um, I tend, I did a lot of these actually on Mother's Day because I was thinking, oh, mummies and babies. I just found the envelope that goes with that one. You do get your envelopes as well. Um, and I like to keep them all in nice separate bags. Now, with my spare crystals that haven't got uh, DMC numbers, which are the Embroidery Thread Company numbers that most diamond paintings um, are all numbered by, if you haven't got those numbers, then um, you can either match them up uh, with a DMC number or uh, at the moment what I'm doing is uh, keeping them all separate and uh, I'm going to, well then, where's my box gone? Oh, it's here. I'm going to use these for my spares when I'm doing my stamping and everything. So as you can see, I've got them sort of, she says try not to drop them. I've got them in a clear box and I've got them in more or less colour order so that if say I want to do um, a pink flower I've got all my pink shades there if I want to do some leaves I've got my greens here and I'll just use these first um, rather than dipping into my DMC numbers uh, and using those that's what I'm doing for now it may change <laughs> but this is how I'm working them out at the moment so before I put them into those colours um, I do need a better light, I do need daylight because I say my eyesight's not brilliant. Um, I'm just putting all of my resin drills into one box. So these are all my resin drills I need to sort out. These are all my just round crystal gemstones that I need to sort out. And oops, that one's fallen out into the wrong one. <laughs> just put that back in my other box. And these are all my special shaped uh, diamonds and gemstones which are all different like marquees and teardrops and rectangles and all sorts 
so that they're all in another one so all I'm going to do for now is put them in these and then when I've got time um, I'm going to come back and sort all these out but uh, yeah it's something that I do need a really good light so that I can see what I'm doing with these so these are all just plain resin gems so these will all go into and these are all grey and then that's the 310 black I'll keep the blacks on one side because I do have a huge bag of black so they're all different shades of grey and I'll just pop those I've got them roughly in an order in this box I've got you know, pinks and blues and then the greens oranges and things going around there so as you can see it's going to be quite a mammoth task I've done quite a lot of diamond painting recently and um, as I say so I just thought I'd pop on and give you a review and show you what I'm doing with these and get these all into one place so I can sort them all out together so oh, did we look at the elephant we didn't look at the elephant did we I started rabbiting on about the gems <laughs> the rhinestones so yeah so that's your mummy and baby and she's following along look I think she's got a hold of mummy's tail and you've got the lovely reflection in the bottom there as well which is really cute again all the depth of colour all the different colours well you saw how many greys I've just put in that box there so yeah that is super love that one so that's mummy and baby elephant I do like to keep them and um, this one's in a card bag actually but a lot of them uh, oh these are all card bags but I do keep them in the bags that they come in yeah this one's the bag that actually came um, in the folded over packet so they just you know keep them clean and tidy so this is the little koala so there isn't any gems in the back of this one I did actually do this one uh, I've got two envelopes in there yes I have that's why I had an envelope missing out that other one okay so yeah again um your 18 by 18 centimeter cards and this one has a lot of special drills but my yeah uh, a niece lives in Australia and she has a little girl so I, I did this one for her little girl for her birthday um this year it was uh, January time um and she loved it so you've got your lovely rainbow going right across there and you've got all these little flowers I am going to put gems into these flowers so just use your craft buddy glue just put a little dot in each flower and um, actually shall we do that now because I've got all these gems out so I may as well do that now while I'm I've got it out so let's just oops put a little blob of glue there see if you can see what I'm doing uh, and we'll just put some little gems I do just like to add a little bit sometimes to these cards and again it's your card you can do whatever you like with them just put my pin back in Okay, can't, can't see the end. This is watch list for five minutes trying to put a pin back in a glue nozzle. <laughs> right, where's my uh, Scotty dog pen that I've made? Look, I've got a little Scotty dog uh, pen cover it was. Uh, it had a normal like uh, biro pen in it and uh, I've just taken that out and put a drill pen in it. Um, so what colour shall we have? Shall we have a crystal? Shall we have just a clear? I think we'll have just a clear crystal so that you can still see the flower through. I'll just grab my little tray. Okay. And we'll just grab one of those crystals and just oops, pop that into the middle of the glue there. Okay, just grab it lightly because the glue is wet so it won't quite grab it yet go on in maybe i should have used tweezers for this let me just uh, and i can't see what i'm doing so if you see my head oops no that one's upside down no no it's not now it's right way up stay that's it take the glue off there okay yep i should definitely have used tweezers for this just drop that one in there and just drop that one in there. I could have actually put bigger ones on, couldn't I? Oh, I've got an extra drill there. Look, that's a green drill that's escaped from somewhere. Let me take that one off. That one's just got stuck. So, have we got a drill there? Yep. 
So let's see how they work out. I think I've put too much glue on there, but we'll see how it looks. I just don't know whether the drill's there or not. As I say, this, you, you can just drop along to my videos and see how not to craft. It's really good fun. Um, I'm really good when I'm not on video. <laughs> it's just, uh, I can't see. There you are. Oh, that's because it's stuck to my finger. That's why it's not there. So we'll let those dry um, and I'll see if they dry. They should be more or less dry by the time I've gone through all these others. So we'll have a look at those in a bit. But yeah, I think that just adds a bit more to it. So I won't put that one back in its envelope because I don't want it going everywhere. So I'll just put these drills back away. Uh, yeah, I mean, they're your cards, and as I say, if you didn't like those, you could just take them off again. Okay, so next one was Mums and Babies as well, and this one is a little Yorkshire Terrier, which we like. I'm from East Yorkshire, um, and it's got its little puppy there as well. Uh, so, yeah, she's got a little red collar on and a smiley face. Puppy doesn't look too happy, so I wonder if he's been told off. <laughs> Again, lovely quality card. And they are a good thick card, these. Um, so, you know, they're always going to stand up, give them the waft test. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. Really good quality. We're not going to get these falling off the mantelpiece. Okay. Oh, and we've got some drills in the back there as well. So let's get those out. Right. So these are all browns and fawns. I'll we'll put those oh, that's a grey, that's a grey, yeah, that was mummy's highlights. Browns, fawns, we've got a red there, lovely dark red. I bet that's uh, more or less 666 red, but anyway, I'm going to put this in our spares. So that's browns over there, we'll put reds in that one, put blacks over there because I'm keeping those separate to go in my big blacks and put those over there. So that's that one. Now then, this one's really different, this one... Um, is a mixture of your resin drills which the lighthouse is all resin and then the rocks and the sea and the light coming from the lighthouse are all your crystal gems so you get that real sparkle I think that's really effective all the rocks you can just see the waves crashing up there and the light coming out to save the sailors let them know where they are okay so and that one's got an envelope missing so I've just been so happy <laughs> and got so into the moment with my diamond painting that these have all got a little bit muddled up. So pop that one into there. That one's got a bag as well. And then we've got a mixture of gems in this. So we've got gems, resin. So let's see. We've got uh, gold gems there, red, brown browns there, green, gold over there, and then these are all resin again, which browns down here, silver, and then like a brown there. So that's those. Okay. And then the sloth. Absolutely love sloths. Um, I didn't realise they made such a noise. Hubby's got quite into watching um, the Discovery Channel and he's just mad on sloths at the moment. Um, yeah, so they actually sort of go, bleh, bleh, bleh. they've got this real high pitched noise and when they cross, really funny. Millie goes absolutely mad, Millie, our Scotty. She just sits and watches the telly and then she goes mad when she sees them. Um, so yeah, I love doing this one. All your different gradients on your colour there as well. So again, it's a mixture of your um, resin drills and your crystals. And we've got special shaped ones in this one as well. Look, we've got like uh, teardrops and marquees for the flowers and just highlights. We've got berries there, look, red berries on these leaves and uh, your little flower bud. I don't know what that is, but that's really pretty. Really, really nice. Um, I did this one for my sister-in-law for her 60th birthday so yeah <laughs> she yeah. I think I'd put something like relax take it easy or something like that on it with it being a sloth um so yeah she, but she loved it she really loved that card so I've, so I've done that one a couple of times I tend to do them send them out to people and then I do another one to keep for myself <laughs> so 
I love these after more than once. <laughs> okay, let's pop this little sloth back in this packet. So we've got browns. Now then we've got special shapes. So I've got my little tub that I'm keeping my special shapes in at the moment before I sort them out. Uh, these are all the crystals. That's a resin. That's a white one. So that one's up at the top. That's another crystal there. That's another special shape. There are always plenty left over with these cards. Um, you're never likely to run out if you do obviously contact customer services. But I've always found that there is loads of crystals. Okay, so these I've got the packets. I have got the packets for these somewhere. Um, but I've taken them out of the packets when I've been doing them. This bunny, I was really surprised when I did it because I hadn't realised. I knew it was a cute bunny and uh, it had a rainbow. But look at these special drills on it. Look at the flowers. They're so raised up 3D. You can see the 3D on that flower. That's just brilliant. I just love it. Um, so, yeah, I was going to send this out to somebody and then I thought, oh, no, I like those flowers. <laughs> God, I want to keep it. <laughs> So again, um, it's all resin drills and then just the special drills of the little flowers. But yeah, they're just so sweet. And that bunny, um, somebody on the Facebook group, the Crystal Art Facebook group, has put that they did these for Easter. Sent them out as Easter presents, which is a lovely idea. And uh, again, you know, for any child's bedroom or your own bedroom, um, yeah, that's really pretty to keep. But yeah, those flowers, I just was blown away when I saw those. I hadn't realised when I got this kit that that uh, had the little flowers in it. Really cute. Okay, pop that one back in there. So let's have a look. We have got one spare flower as well, which is wonderful. I don't know what I'm going to use that for. Um, I can't imagine it's going to be on a card that I send to anybody. Um, I'm terrible. I, I just love them so much. I don't like giving them up. <laughs> I was the same with my card making. I made a card I really, really, really liked. I found it really difficult to um, give it away to somebody. And then I used to think, gosh, I hope they don't throw this away after I've spent all this time making it. Because I know some people don't like to keep things, um, you know, but hopefully when they get something like this, it's a present as well as a card. So they do keep it. Right, so I'll just put these are all normal drills. So I'm just putting them all, oops, stay with the little flowers that's my three tens put those out the way with the three tens uh, pinks pinks greys and reds okay what i tend to do um i don't know if i've mentioned when i am diamond painting as as i as i go along as i oh, this one I haven't got many in as i open my packets oops, just get these out as i open my packet what i do is i keep I open the packet and um, I put the letter or whatever it is into a little zip lock bag. You get these with the Craft Buddy card kits um, and I put it in there and then I put all the spare drills in afterwards. So if for some reason I maybe looked at um, my polar bear and realised I'd missed a drill, well then I'll still have the letter there and I've still got all the letters in the bags so I know exactly which one it was that I used and um, as I put them into my storage then I do throw them away and then as I'm going along what I do is I have my card on the table this one hasn't got an envelope in either so me, they do all come with envelopes it's just as I've been doing them I've obviously taken the envelope out and um, so I keep my packet with my envelope and once I've finished with the colour I pop it into there and then once I've done that colour, I pop it into there and so on. And then when I've finished, I put the card in with the drills and keep it all together. And then it's only now, as I'm looking at the cards and sorting them all out, that I take the drills out of the uh, bags with the cards. But yeah, this one is super. Um, this one has A, B, like an Aurora Borealis coating on like the little ice caps just uh, in the background, just to give it that little hint that little bit of extra sparkle but this mum's got a hands full look three babies she looks very protective though she's looking very much don't come near my babies that one's very very shy isn't it but uh, yeah i just love that b 
big I didn't realize how big polar bears were um I was watching some documentary and they're just huge the paws are absolutely enormous so yeah they look real cute and cuddly but uh, they don't appear to be when you see them in the wild so that's polar bear so this one um had three resin drills and then we've got these lovely which are the a b coated drills so they go in my specials box and the others all go in my resin drill box there okay and then another mum and baby this is snow tigers and uh, again lovely snowy scene on this one and this is all resin drills and again as you can see i've put the i've just sliced the bags in half put the letter part of the uh, bag that the um, drills came in into a little ziplock and then as I say as I go along I just put them in with the card so I know that these all belong to this card and if one of the drills has popped off or I've missed it then I've got them all in letter order to uh, sort out but yeah look at all these that I've got left over in this one lots and lots so that's all the greys and that's all the browns and then this one the stripes on this she's a very proud mum isn't she and he's a, again a little bit shy I think that one but yeah and then you've got your snow scene at the back they are all partials the card so it's just like the main um body of the card the main item on the card the main animal the main face whatever and um, that is actually uh, diamond painted and the rest is just sort of highlighted and it just gives it that extra 3d um f effect more of a depth of field on it on this one the noses and the eyes don't have um the gems on them the drills on them but yeah that's lovely I've definitely had a mum and baby thing going on with all these cards but that's nice because you can use them for mother's day you can use them for birthdays um you know for anything really or somebody that loves animal and a lot of these are very generic you know you, you could send these to men or women um or children you know whoever you know, they're a very good card even get well soon thinking of you um just as a hello i just thought you'd like this picture kind of thing as well so oh the next one now then this is flamingos lovely bright colors look at these flamingos now then this one is look at all these gems that i've got left lots of colors in this one it's amazing how many colours, how many different drills, gems you do get on these craft buddy cards. Um, I don't think, did this have an AB in it? Yes, it did. The white is, uh, yeah, it's AB coated. That's Aurora Borealis. It's like oil on water. Um, just gives you that sparkly effect. Um, like oil, the Northern Lights or Aurora Borealis, that's what they're sort of named after but yeah so that goes into my specials i think you can see where the white highlights are it just makes the other gems around it sparkle but yeah so at first i thought when i was doing this when i saw the picture that that was a reflection of the flamingos <laughs> put your glasses on liz these are actually pretty flowers down at the bottom here i think that might be her hibiscus because it's similar to the stamp that i've got that says hibiscus on it not that i'm any good at gardening but uh, yeah you can always let me know but i do know that these are flamingos <laughs> so i'll pop that uh, back in its packet oops put that in there okay and then that's my 310 blacks so i keep them separate because the bag i've got is huge and then pinks reds reds these are all varying shade, shades like a, an ambery corally colour um, and pinks so I'll put all those into my box it's getting very very full look it's going to take a long time to sort these out but I do need daylight to do it so it's pointless me trying to do it now okay and then finally I've got my owl I'm sure I've got a fox somewhere as well I wonder what I've done with the fox anyway and again these are all resin drills there's no special drills on this one but he's so wise and again 
for male or female kids anybody really that one oops just get it centered there you are you can see that better look at all the different colors and all his spotty front i think he's um and is it an asian eagle owl with these spikes on his head and his spotty front uh, you may correct me on that but i'm sure when we've been um and looked at owl, owl sanctuaries and places that it may be an asian eagle owl an indian eagle owl not sure but yeah um they're like a smaller version a big eagle owl is huge massive the claws are enormous um, i had one fly to me once and land on me and uh, it was quite heavy um, but they are all feathers there's not much uh, underneath the feathers but yeah so that's really really pretty again the branch and the owl uh got the drills on and the background is just uh, a picture but yeah he looks really good brilliant as a picture actually on the wall that one that's quite autumnal and that would really stand out so yeah very good card that one okay and again these are all resin drills so these will go in my resin box put my three tens over there so all browns now oh, then is that the 310 or is that the 310 do you know i can't oh no that's brown that's definitely the black one yeah that's a very very dark brown okay put that one there and that one there okay so that's all uh, these cards done as you can see i've been uh, very very busy and um, hope you've enjoyed this little look at all these cards owls and flamingos and We've been to all various different places, forests and uh, lighthouses and all sorts, lots of mums and babies. Um, so yeah, so that's my little review. If you've got any questions, uh, please leave them in the comments down below. Have you done any of these cards? Uh, as I say, I'm quite addicted to them, so I've practically done all of them. Whoops, nearly forgot, just popping back. Um, yep. Yeah, the glue has practically dried now on my little flowers, on my little gems that I put uh, on the koala bear card. But uh, yeah, that's really pretty. It's just giving it that little bit extra. I do like to, I don't like seeing the holes in the middle of those flowers. Um, I do like to put something in. I think possibly in hindsight, I should have put a little bit bigger gem, possibly, maybe, maybe not. But anyway, so that's koala bears done as well. So that's uh, my little review of all my cards. I hope you've enjoyed seeing all these. Um, as you can see, I have done a fair few. Um, I'm not quite sure what my favourite would be. I do love tigers, um, but I do love the resin uh, flowers on that little bunny, and he is very, very cute. And uh, Hubby would definitely say the sloth, because he's definitely into sloths at the moment. And obviously, I love dogs as well, so I love the Yorkshire Terriers there. Okay, well, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, then please press that like button. And if you'd like to see some more of what I get up to, uh, then press the subscribe button. And uh, I'll hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.